In this video, we'll focus on dot and cross drawing of magnesium chloride. Let's refer to the periodic table. We can determine the number of electrons each atom has from the periodic table. Look here, the key. In this periodic table, the number at the top tells us the number of protons an atom has. Since the number of protons and electrons are the same in an atom, this number also tells us how many electrons each atom has. The number at the bottom tells us the number of protons and neutrons each atom has. Let's focus on magnesium now. It is here in the periodic table. Magnesium has 12 electrons. We will use dot to represent the electrons of magnesium. The first shell holds 2 electrons. The second shell holds 8 electrons. Now the last two electrons are in the third shell. Magnesium atom would love to donate this electron to a non-metal atom so that it can achieve an octet configuration. Now the non-metal in this compound is chlorine. It is here in the periodic table. Chlorine has 17 electrons. Let's use cross to represent the electrons of chlorine. The first shell holds 2, second shell holds 8. It has 7 electrons in the third shell. Chlorine has only 7 electrons in its outermost shell. It is one more electron to achieve the octet configuration. Now magnesium has to give away 2 electrons, but chlorine can only take in 1 electron to form a chloride ion. Hence, we will need to have 1 more chlorine to take in both electrons from magnesium. Now, magnesium atom will donate one electron to each of the two chlorine atoms to form magnesium ion and chloride ions. Let's work out the charges of the ions. Magnesium has 12 protons, which gives it a charge of positive 12, while 12 electrons, which gives it a charge of negative 12. Hence, the overall charge of this atom is 0. Now, when magnesium gives away its electrons, to the non-metals, the number of protons remain unchanged, and the positive charge is still positive 12. However, there are only 10 electrons left, hence the negative charge is negative 10. Overall charge in this ion is positive 2. We will need to represent this charge in the dot and cross diagram. Put the bracket and the charge. For chlorine, the atom has 17 protons, which gives it a charge of positive 17, while 17 electrons, which gives it a charge of negative 17. The overall charge of this atom is 0. Now, when chlorine takes in electrons from magnesium, the number of protons remain unchanged. Hence, the positive charge is still positive 17. However, there are 18 electrons now. Hence, the negative charge is negative 18. Overall charge in chloride ion is negative 1. Now put the bracket and the charge in the dot and cross diagram. Sometimes in the examinations, they will ask you to draw only the outermost electrons. Hence, you will omit the inner shells and this is what you should draw. You realize there are two chloride ions present in this ionic compound. So instead of drawing two chloride ions, we can draw only one and put a two in front of the chloride ion. If we are asked to draw only the outermost electrons, instead of showing two chloride ions, you can draw this instead. Now in a nutshell, a metal loses its outermost electrons to form positive ion, while a non-metal gains the electrons to form negative ion. Now take note, the oppositely charged ions are held together by strong electrostatic forces of attraction, which we call the ionic bond. Now we'll be going through drawing of dot and cross diagram of other ionic compounds in this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Now like the chemistry learning videos and share with your friends if you find it useful. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.